Hi guys, today we're making doggy quilt blocks <laughs> because if a few weeks ago I made a couple of really cute, really easy cat quilt blocks, I figured dogs deserve the same courtesy. And although I am a very proud crazy cat lady, I also have a couple of dogs in my life that I absolutely love. So like for the cats, I will be making two quilt blocks with you and then you will get to decide which one you prefer. I am so excited about these quilt blocks and I hope you are too. Let's get started. Okay, so our first dog quilt block pattern is essentially a nine patch quilt block so as easy as they come and for that we will need two four inch squares in one color and two four inch squares in another color and we are just going to join them together right sides together like so and we are going to sew all around like we've done so many times before okay be right back Okay, and now that these are sewn, our next step is to cut these squares diagonally, just like so, okay? Here we go. And now we need to press all of these half squares open just like so and now we just need to trim them all into the same size and uh, these four initial squares gave us eight half squares but we only need seven so we are going to remove one okay and you may think like this isn't really something you need to do, but trust me, it is, it is. It makes all the difference, okay? You really, really, really want to do this properly so that your block will be neat and clean and absolutely spot on. For our puzzle to be complete, we will need one square from each of these two fabrics in the same size as the half squares we've created, so 2.5 by 2.5. And now we create our puzzle until we see a cute little puppy in this quilt block. So let's get started. And if we wanted our puppy to be red, what we needed to do is something like this. Can you see a puppy? <laughs> and this is if we want a red puppy. Now, if we want a green puppy, <laughs> then it just switches all around like so. What do you think? Shall we make it green or red? Here we have it, a cute little puppy, a green puppy. <laughs> All we need is to sew these nine patches and I will be right back. And you know what comes next? We pressed and now we trim our puppy. <laughs> Here's our puppy. We like it diagonally. Extra block and our puppy will be ready to go. And we're done guys, one cute puppy done in absolutely no time. My favorite kind of quilt block. And so, so cute, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now our next dog quilt block is actually a Scotty dog quilt block. And for this we'll need a couple more pieces than the first, okay? And I have seen a couple of different versions of this quilt block that are a little bit more complicated with different, you know, different squares, different fabrics. We're not going to do any of that, okay? This is the simplest version and I love it. And I think it looks really, really cute. I think you'll love it too. So here we go. Now, we will still just need two fabrics. For the one fabric, which will be our dog, we will need seven 2.5 by 2.5 little squares. And I have made our dog blue, as you can see. <laughs> we will need one 4.5 by 4.5 inch square and we will need one 8.5 by 4.5 inch rectangle and as you can see this quilt block will be a lot bigger than the first one you made and for the background fabric we will need 
two 2.5 by 4.5 inch rectangles, two 2.5 by 6.5 inch rectangles, and one 10.5 by 4.5 inch rectangle. So it's a blue and pink quilt block. Guys, I apologize for the noise. I know it's really noisy around here today, but you know what? I live in an apartment and my walls are like paper and there's a carnival happening nearby. Ugh, it's a mess. I apologize. <laughs> and we are going to start with this 10.5 by 4.5 rectangle and we will add our 4.5 by 4.5 rectangle and one of our tiny 2.5 by 2.5 inch rectangles right here. And we're going to place them on opposite ends and now we're going to sew them diagonally. So this one is going to be like this once we're finished and this one is going to be like this. So let's just go ahead and pin this and then I think I'm going to draw a line just so that it will guide us a little bit better and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. We are doing one line like so and don't worry this isn't going to show so you are, you can use whatever you know pen you want and the other one we are going to sew like this. And now I just need to trim all of this off because we don't need the bulk. So it's this and this one right here. Be careful to trim the right side. I have been known to trim the wrong side and it's a mess. Now to this side of our rectangle we are going to add one 2.5 by 4.5 inch rectangle. So this one and another one of our 2.5 by 2.5 inch squares that we will also be sewing diagonally because this is what we're looking for. So it's the little face, you see the head of our duck. And now we trim the excess and this is what we get, okay? So now we're just going to sew these two together and here we have it. Okay, so now it's time to add the body for our scotty, which is this rectangle right here. It's tiny little legs, which would be these two squares right here, and a rectangle in between the legs, which is this one right here. Let's sew all of it together. And we have sewn it all into just one piece, and we're almost there, guys. <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to take one of our longer 2.5 by 6.5 inch rectangles and we are going to pair it with another of our 2.5 by 2.5 squares and you know the drill, we are going to pin it and we are going to sew it across like so. Except that now that we've done this, we are just going to add another one of these squares, just like so, and this time we are going to sew it like this, so that we are going to create a sort of V right here, okay? And this will actually be his neck and his chin. See the neck and a little bit of the chin. So we can go right ahead and sew this onto our body just like that. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far and now last but certainly not least we are going to add our final rectangle and our final square. And again we're going to sew it diagonally but this time this is what we want for his little mouth. See it? Right here. And this is what we have. So we are going to sew this right to this one. And now all there's left for us to do is to sew these two pieces together. So we are going to do it just like this. And you know the drill guys, now we will press. Okay guys, final steps, we are trimming any excess, not a lot of excess because we done everything right. <laughs> That's a very good sign when there is no excess to trim. And here we have it, our Scott puppy is complete. You know, unless you want to add like a color or a bow or anything that you want to add to make this dog look more dapper. But me, personally, I love it 
exactly as it is. And this is our final result. Two very quick, very simple quilt blocks to make, a lot of doggy potential to be had for a pillow, or a quilt, or a blanket, or whatever you'd like. <laughs> I had a blast doing this, guys. I hope you did too, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.